it's Jill again. Um, I'm working on some nutcrackers now, uh, pink and blue. I have them pretty much embellished with gems and liquid pearls and glitter, but I'm still going to add a little bit more. Here's the first one I'm going to be working on. And again, this is going to be a set of three, how all of them are going, sets of three. Um, I'm, going, I'm making up, uh, I don't know, maybe 20 different sets, only one of each, just to see if it's something that is, I guess, something folks would be interested in. Um, uh, like I told my kids, if they're not, their Christmas tables are going to be full of my work. They're fun to do, though. I really, I really like doing holiday stuff. Um, gets away from a little bit of the repetition because you seem to be doing the same thing again and again and again. Even though everything I do is a little bit different, a little variation from one to the next. They are in bottom line, the same theme, same thing. Okay. And this one I'm going to see. Nope, I put gold on it. I'll have to use gold. I want to try some with the silver base. And, and, oh, he hasn't done any silver bases yet. I'm thinking of the silver balls, not the bases. Okay. And. I meant to make this peg a little bit longer to use the bigger of the base balls that I have, but I forgot and made it too short, so I'll have to use one of the little ones. I am definitely running out of glue, guys. Oh, I just ordered a box. I think I'd mentioned in another video, I always get from Uline and their sticks are like 15 inches. And I really, really like them. That's th these right here. However, the only way that you can buy them is in cases of 300 and with shipping. No, not even with shipping. There's $180. I, I can't remember if it's with shipping or not, but it's a lot. And I just, I said, I've got to try and order less stuff to store and less money invested because especially since I do not know how long how much longer not because I want to quit but how much longer I that it'll be worth it okay I've got him all put together with the front and back and I'm going to add a few gems he is glittered and has some gems on him, but I just want to add a little bit. So let me see what I want to add. Mm hmm. Let me see. I want him a little up here on his crown. I think I'm going to add some of this pink. I really like these that I get at Hobby or at Michaels. The only thing that I don't like is each one of these strips of gems is glued together, so you have to cut them apart so you can lift just one, and that's a, it's a pain to get them off. I don't like it, but it is what it is. Uh, my husband just left. He had a CPAP machine and could not get used to it, so he sent everything back. And the other day, he receives a replacement of all the supplies for it. So he called them yesterday to tell them, you know, if he's not using it, he took it back. What did what they send him all these supplies for? And they hung up on him four times. And so finally, he got the fifth guy on the phone. And the guy said, can you just bring it over here? Apparently, they were having a rough time figuring out how to use the telephone. Um, so, he headed out to return all these supplies that they shipped out 
for a machine he no longer has. And the machine they got through Humana, which is who sent the stuff. So their records keeper has been napping on the job because he they're the ones that accepted the return. So somebody didn't make notation. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Sticky little thing. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, get away from me. I have the hardest time with these gems. If I use my pick-me-up stick, which I didn't think of that right here, it's a lot easier. But I forget. And I forget what side to cut right here. Mm, those look a little big. Let's try this one. I haven't got much pick-me-up goop left in here. So it's not picking up very good. And another little tiny one that's not supposed to be there. I'll just throw it right here. You can never over bling. At least I don't think you can. But I have known to be wrong. I didn't cut these apart. So it's taken two at a time. I probably ruined my scissors. I keep cutting wire. I mean, cutting anything. Anything. Which, that's not what they're made for. I better take the time to find the book that I'm going to make for my granddaughter. Since I'm going to have to do that this weekend along with some orders I need to get out. You guys, the older I get, the fuller my schedule gets. I don't see it ever ending. But keeps me out of trouble. Sort of. Sort of. Okay, there we go. I put some, just a little extras in his crown. And now I'm going to do this side. I guess I started this side, just got sidetracked and didn't finish it. There's a shock. Okay. Boy, am I having a hard time getting a hold of these things. Um, there we go. Oh! Come on. <laughs> My pick-me-up doesn't have enough stick or sticky in it, and it's not picking me up. So I'm re relying on tweezers, which have so much sticky on them, they don't want to release whatever it is that I'm picking up. Got it. I want one more tiny one on there. So. I can't believe how time flies so fast. Okay. Here's this guy. And these gold bases are actually four another order, but I've got my husband um, on standby to make me more gold bases and silver. I want gold and silver. And let's do the other two. And I'm going to add some gems to him. This little guy, a couple different things I'm going to be doing to him. First of all, I'm going to put them together. I do really, really like, I think these are adorable, and I really have a feeling. I collect um, everything, everything, junk, everything. But for holidays, I collect elves and Santa Clauses. And I, my son collects nutcrackers, however, wood nutcrackers. So I don't know if this would be beneath him that they're made out of paper. That wasn't very nice of me to say, but maybe for his Christmas table on Christmas Day. 
when his wife, or Christmas Eve, he has Christmas Eve with his wife's family and Christmas Day with us. Maybe I'll use them Christmas Day. I don't know. We'll see where we're at when that time comes. Okay. I love the pink though. Um, and there is a lot of pink. Uh, when I went to Hobby Lobby, the amount of pink that's out there on the on the shelves is unreal. I think they're very, very pretty, but not very Christmassy. And I forgot to cut the bottom of his boots off. Yeah. So, oh, right here in front of me. That was pretty dumb. But, and I think I based my peg off the wrong side. I'm not sure. But, easily remedied. Done. Right, let me put a little base on him. And a blue. I didn't put one on the other guy. I'll have to go back and do that. What I want to do on him is I want to put some blue gems on him. So, we're going to take, oh, another one of those that aren't separated. <laughs> so I can cut through all of them without cutting all the way through the paper because then they fly everywhere. Only cut to the edge. And, ooh, that'll be enough. So let's do in his crown. I think I'm going to do a dark blue in the center. And then I'm going to do a light blue on each side. These are actually this these long packets of um, bling. If you find them on sale, if you're thinking of painting them, I don't have a lot of use for them, which is apparent by the amount that I have. These are the kind that I would get to spray paint. If you're going to, all of these on here are spray painted gold. The buttons on his jacket and his belt buckle, all of those are spray painted and they paint up perfect. I don't know if I've said that enough times yet. Good catch. Okay. I didn't do these from start to beginning because there's so many sets that I'm working on. I'm just gonna show a couple of the final touches that I'm making on them, on them. I did all my glittering at once and then put them to try to, well, I didn't put them all together at once and I didn't put him all together at all. Were you watching me do that? Oh my gosh, I didn't even put them together. Dog gone. He's open completely in the sides. This size of one foot works nicely for if you're just using it like for a, uh, a table decoration, um, because the group of three is large enough, but the height isn't overwhelm your table. And I like that. Then I'm going to put, he's got a little beard here. So I'm going to put a little beard on him out of white buffer. Like that. And then this side. And there we go. So, got both sides of him. And there's one. Now this tall, that wasn't one, that was the second one. Duh, okay. Then we have this tall guy, tall and skinny. Shouldn't say tall guy because they're all the same height. However, he looks tall and skinny. 
Oh, need the big one. These don't take much for sticks either. Some sticks I put in, I don't even think I need because the hard glue dries or the, the glue stick glue dries so firm that you don't need a lot of reinforcing because on the smaller pieces, the glue itself um, works as the wood would, the wood would. Um, it gets pretty stiff. I still wouldn't throw them around, but I guess I wouldn't do that if I had wood, all wood between them or a bunch of wood. Not something I would throw around. There we go. I say there we go and then I start to the next thing and forget to finish gluing them all together. Not gonna do that this time. Finish gluing him up. And where they, the sticks, there are no sticks kind of joining um, the piece. I put a little extra glue in it, kind of fill in that gap with the, the hot glue because the hot glue dries so firm that if it's a little spot that might be weak, the glue itself will make it strong enough that you will not know that it is a weak spot. Well, it won't be a weak spot once it's filled with that hot glue. The glue with, the glue with no mercy. Um, this one has rose pink gems on it that I sprayed, sprayed, sprayed with my rose gold spray paint. Um, it was not um, Rust-Oleum, it was a crafter's paint, but it's rose gold. And so with the pink pieces, I stuck some rose gold in it. And I think I'm going to see if I have a pink rose gold little circle for the bottom here. And I do, I do. So that, set is done. Now, what I want to do is I picked up some trees. Is there a rose gold in here? No. But I would like to add a tree. Um, to one of them. Not all three, just to one of them. And I think maybe to that one. I think I'll add that tree to this guy. Not one in the front and back, just one. And I'm gonna glue it right over here. And there we go. I'll get some pictures of this done for you. And what I think I'm going to do next is I'm going to get a couple movies uploaded and then move on to the next set. Thank you for watching and everybody have a great weekend. can't believe it's a weekend already, but I will be back with more. Thank you. Bye-bye.